This is the time of Lost TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Wash. Okay. What's up? What's up? Hi. It's good. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Is it just me or today feels like Friday? Uh, Ife Omai. <laughs> It was this feeling is this feeling just you know what you know wait as anchors mm -hmm, presenters mm -hmm. we kind of act on sets yes. yeah so is this accident <laughs> <laughs> no for real i i feel like i'm winding down almost like i'm done for the week or something i know yeah. it just started did today feel like Does friday that, that <laughs> <laughs> i was even thinking today was still monday somebody <laughs> said it was tuesday mm. yeah. today's tuesday right it's just okay. tuesday mm. just the week just just that's it I don't just. know, I'm just feeling very wound down. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow I feel different. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, uh, moving on to the first story. Chadwick, Bosman's hometown residents call for Placement of Confederate monuments with his statue. Um, they launched a petition on change.org to salute the hero. The petition organizers say the initiative is not political and they do not want the Confederate monuments destroyed but relocated um, to the Anderson County Museum. Fair enough, but it's sad. I mean, it is true that it's not political, and most of the um, the moment, uh, monuments that they have usually are, but I think they can still do something for him like that. It's not every single monument that you find in the whole of America it, that is political. There's one about the girl, child. I don't know if you saw that campaign. It was really huge where they're putting each... Um, a girl running or something in every state, a girl child. So I think something like that, maybe not that huge, that is, you know, um, political in that sense can be given to them. I think he deserves that, definitely. Especially because, um, what's it called? He has also sort of like a political um, influence in terms of the black initiative of having been the first black superhero there was. So I guess you can say that it's, it's, it's worth asking for. It's not just completely fictional. Um, so in regards to that, but I think the response was very well thought of and it wasn't offensive and I you can say that it was worth like, you know, the point that they're trying to raise and everything. So it is what it is. I still think um he deserves um to be given the monument because what is there already he doesn't even stand for anything good. It reminds people of slavery because um Confederate statue and all of that is white supremacy, how white people are superior to black people and all of that. So Should that is go a to museum. What? Exactly. And then they said that where, the where the Confederate flag is in his hometown, I mean, I said the Confederate flag, the, com, um, the statue, yeah, is, yeah. the monument is in his hometown, that you can't miss it. You can't go anywhere without seeing it. You understand? So that's like a constant reminder mm. that we fought past this part to. There's yeah. this past that we, we, you know, we all, we, there was a time we wanted to talk about a story where they wanted to take it down somewhere as mm, well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they've taken quite a bit down. So I'm in support of it. It's not about Chadwick now. It's not about sentiments. It's so about, you're just interested, yeah, interested in, in taking them out taking anything it down. because oh, I, 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 I can okay. remember. I can remember even in Africa, it counts. The first music video I did when I was still into. <laughs> when I was well, why are you laughing at yourself <laughs> now? Because I was ready for no, it. we weren't going to laugh yeah. until you first that laugh. <laughs> well, okay. First music video. Uh -huh. I wore this Jesus jacket that Aww. had the Confederate Give them flag on it. Mm. And then when I took Mystify. it to yeah. Yeah. Oh. And when I took it to <laughs> TV stations for them to play my videos, they were like, sorry, because of the Confederate flag, mm. you have to go and blow it out. And mm. which is why if you go on YouTube to go and watch the original video, ah. you see that it's blood out. <laughs> what's the link? Well? What's the link? It's like, <laughs> link we're well. reviving this career. <laughs> My guy, what's, <laughs> what's the handle? I'm about. actually going to watch it. Yeah. I don't know why I haven't. So, so how really? do we find it? What's, it? what's it? I've seen a few. Tell us. But like you were, I think you were in like a house or something. You are doing a freestyle. You had an afro on. Mm. No, so that's different. That no, that's yeah. this like a proper, okay, hey, I, it's not a proper hey, music hey. video because it's not something you would want to watch Since we are blushing. What's the link? Um, the title of the song is Roll It, oh, and it's it? by Mr. Mr. Fire. Mr. Fire. Oh. Yes, so you can go. So I had to go blow it. I had to blow it out. So if they can do that in Africa, now imagine in, in America mm, yeah, where yeah, they are directly affected. <laughs> I'm trying to like put my mind. Roll it. Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine if I roll 
lyrics. What do you think the lyrics will be like? I'm singing already. Roll it. I know you're a rapper. I want to roll. Uh huh. You 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 listen now. Then you guys will probably give you a review. We are coming back to the next episode to talk about this. Like um okay, but cool. Yeah, I mean I agree with what both of you have said. Um. He deserves it definitely. Um, having he, he represents a whole lot for the black community right now, mm -hmm. and it's, it's just fair to give that to uh, them. Not exactly for Chadwick, but it, for what he represents yeah. um, for mm -hmm. them. So when they look at it, they can remember and, of course, hold on to that hope that he actually embodied and lived. You know, so I don't think that it, 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 that's something that should be really difficult to achieve. Um, but however, like you have said, also what they are they are calling for the replacement mm -hmm. for can actually be taken to the museum. Mm -hmm. So maybe. They they don't really want to forget their past because regardless of how horrible the past is, it's mm -hmm. also good mm -hmm. to remember and understand that this happened at some point and yeah. why we don't want to go back to that point, you understand? So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it makes sense. You've said it all. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the next story, I guess. Mm -hmm. Rule it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to hear the last of this. That's okay, okay, so um, you are a hired assassin if you dress and dance seductively in church. And this is coming from the one and only Mike Bamiloye. He put it this way, you dress seductively to church, you decided to dress to kill, quotes to kill. You dance suggestively to worship songs. You purposely dance, quotes to slay. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, um, are you not a hired assassin in the church? End of quote. Such a man that sees such things in church is dead on arrival as well. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just that simple. They have died already before it comes to church. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of an arrival. But, yeah. So hmm. because, but I, I, how I, do you how do you worship seductively? I mean, how did you say it? Praise the Lord, honey. But that's a <laughs> nice church. Yes, they actually do. But Give guess him what? Up with tucking, honey. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And I can remember when I went to <laughs> I go to church on Tuesdays, right? Okay. Because I do midweek service. Because <laughs> I know I don't how make I don't make some. Sunday. Why not? Sunday. Sunday. Because when events were functional, those are the days that I actually have to work. Yeah. And, um, I will allow it, but okay. I mean, no, events come at night, if eh? What? Idea. Church is in the morning. No, no, events start anytime. And sometimes I cover on Saturday, so I'm tired to go on Sunday. Mm. You get mm. and I yeah, still yeah, have to feel, go. Yeah, I will feel you. Roll it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go on Tuesdays. So I remember I took one of our colleagues to church. And then there was, that was when the whole cut it dance right, was, yeah, you can do yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it, so don't let me, uh -huh, yeah, that thing. But that's like a very decent okay. dance now, what's it? Yeah, but you, if you need to see the ladies, and you know when you're cutting it, and the ones with the big boobs are really cutting it, you know, uh, yeah. things see, are beginning if, uh, to bounce. Except, except, yeah. except, except, except Christian, to thank you, except Christians are going to say way. women should not dance I'm getting at there. all. I'm getting there, no dance that I'm getting there. But guess what, guess what, all I saw... So you'll be like, uh, Guess what? All I saw was <laughs> cut it, right? But some men may have been distracted by the boobs, by different things shaking while they're doing that but dance. Once, once you that, that, praise that. the Lord, I feel like they would, they would just be focusing. So it's not really what you do anyway. <laughs> so, all I'm oh, trying boy, to say is that so any man who is getting distracted in church by a way a woman is dancing is dead on arrival. So it's mm. not the woman's fault, it's your fault. Okay, so let's go back to the dressing. Let's go back to the dressing. Everybody, you say we're made in God's image, right? And you mm. need to look good. So if I decide that I want to go to church looking my best, why do they tell you that? Okay, when you are coming, even at a party, they will tell you, so wear, they your dress, they will you wear your Sunday. They will tell you wear your Sunday best. They will tell you wear your Sunday best. So your Sunday best is seductive. If it's that's your definition. If, if you're, it depending ah. on your definition of seductive, though. Mm. I mean, obviously. Ah, but for somebody like uh, Daddy, my family, his definition of seductive, I'm sure I'm seductive. Yes. Like yeah, this. That's so. what I'm saying. They're, they're <laughs> churches. I think my neck is showing a bit. No, no, no. They are mommy Gio today. Don't worry. Oh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all right. But at the end of the day, I just think that um, he also has a point. There are a lot of women that also actually go revealing everything, forgetting mm -hmm. that they are going to the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And. I think there's a, I can't remember what part of the Bible is, but if, if your left hand or if somebody mm. saying should make you commit so sin, it should be, eyes. Men, yeah. Nah. yeah, so no, and so it, no, it is that one eh? thing that is making you commit sin that should be cut oh, off. She, she is not committing sin as she's going, if something you, is making you commit, commit sin, sin. So it's your eye. lost, the yes. guy should remove his eye. 
I yeah. hold it. Okay, true that. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I didn't go to Bible school like that. Oh, but okay. what I'm trying to let you know is that at the end of the day, too, there are some women that are intentional. Yeah, course, yeah. The ones that say, ah, I will find those band for church. You. I go do this one. You mm. know those ones? They are those ones that are actually going there for a purpose. They are not going to worship the Lord. They just want a good guy because they believe that any I church, any brother friend. James, any I'm brother really John... Very, very 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 well, no. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think there is a, like, a time and a place for certain outfits. Yeah. Right? I'm not going to go to... I don't know, the club in Iran Buba and Gili, for example. Hmm. So I think that there is... Have you gone to Ibadah? <laughs> I'm just going to let that fly. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, <laughs> Ogun State, actually. Shake the table, friend. That's, shake. Ibadah is actually more open than Ogun State. You think State, that they actually wear Gili to the club? <laughs> I've seen slippers on I mean, Twitter, I'm, I'm, but I haven't seen... I'm a Nigerian. I love every tribe. <laughs> one. Okay. So I think that there, obviously there is a place, a time and place for a different outfits and stuff, mm. obviously. Um, but I don't really care what you're hiding behind. It either be religious, scripture, your upbringing, your belief. A woman is allowed to dress how she wants to dress either ways. Does that mean that she's going to church to assassinate your minds and oh, your all those other type of stuff? I think it's ridiculous. Until we get to a point where the conversations, especially by influential people, is put on the perpetrators, not the victims. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be involved in that conversation. Even if a woman does genuinely mm -hmm. dress indecent to church, you are still responsible for, for, how, for your, how, you think about, uh, how you think about it, how you look at it. When, when Christians are fasting and all of that type of stuff, you don't tell people, ah, Christians are fasting this month, please don't eat, don't eat, don't eat. No, you give the Christian the responsibility the to make sure that that person is not distracted by food that they are even craving and deserve to have. Mm. Now, we're talking about a person's body that has, is none of your business. Exactly. Like, it's none of your business. You don't deserve to have <clears throat> that. You can look and praise the Lord in peace. And then aside that, uh, I, I also think that there's some women that regardless of what they wear, they will still look sexy. Ah. Yeah. Do you understand? Regardless of what they wear. So what are we supposed to do with such exactly. women? Are we supposed, supposed to say they shouldn't come to, to church? church? Yeah, exactly. If I should I come to church? Oh my. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, definitely. I feel, I feel like people should be allowed to wear what they want to wear. But at the mm. same time, like you said, um, there's a place for... Um, a certain kind of dressing. If you're going to the club, I mean, we know how you want to look to the club. There are people who still decide to go decent to the club. It doesn't make them less attractive. So it's basically your decision on how you look at it. And um, for someone like um, um, my Bamiloye, I mean, he's, he's always been extreme when he comes to his own kind of um, interpretation of the Bible. And it's, it has always shown in his movies as well. I mean, we, we all grew up watching Ayama Tanga and <laughs> we, we usually expect to see um, devil physically on tape. But then, mm. that's not exactly how we manifests but we know that there are um should i call it contrary powers or evil powers somehow maybe they are not coming to you as yamatanga and entering your wardrobe but that's like a yeah, representation yeah. <laughs> of what it is so yeah. i mean i get his point yeah and i so, think when yeah. you're going to church you actually have to kind of tone it down i mm. get it if if you're um the sexy type like if it has said when whatever you wear comes out sexy anyway i i, I get the feeling you know oh i can feel it but God. yeah get over yourself already <laughs> <laughs> but then turn it down. Let's turn it down a bit. Okay? Down. Yeah, like me, I'm calm. Yeah. <laughs> Tea time continues right after this break. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> This is the time still on Plus TV Africa. Now, stop hating successful people, and this is an advice from Shatawale to Ghanaians, advising them to channel their energy into motivating and pushing for positive vibes um, instead of preaching hate. Um, he says Ghana is full of hate. We always contribute, or they always attribute people's success to money rituals. Um, yeah, basically, that's pretty much what he says. 
I don't know why that sounded that, so Nigerian. That video was very funny. <laughs> it said when they bomb me, me I no cry. When when me I cry, ha 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 ha. My papa <laughs> say now I became with this. <laughs> that video was really funny. But I think yeah, the sense in everything is saying because a lot of people. I, I always say these things with my friends. I say I want to be so successful that the type of money I have, I want it to be called rumor money. The rumor. type of yeah, the type of or money. Audio. Rumor. Oh. The type of money that my mother and my father will still be alive. They will say, I ain't using papaya to do money ritual. Now in mama breast they use. You know that type of money mm. that they just make up stories mm. for your money. They can't because they can't comprehend how you get so rich. So mm. it's called rumor money. You get me. But I, in my own Bible we call it grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Grace. Praise God. Hallelujah, somebody. I think pe we need to have that conversation a lot more about really taming the mind not to travel so far in, inter in, in um, what's it called, hating on people's wealth. I, some people, I think, are naturally dispensed to that attitude. Because for me, it takes a, a while. If I have the energy to be like, mm, I don't like you, I'm just like, I say, I have money, okay, mm, okay, move on. But I've seen that a lot of people sometimes are... Dwell on it. Yes, and I, I don't know what it is about that, but I wish we had that conversation a lot more. Because sometimes it might not even be genuinely the, in, the intention, the first intention at first, but then they let their minds wallow away and then it becomes hate. Mm -hmm. So if we could have that, that type of conversation in terms of learning how to really be happy for others and, and use that energy for something else. I know he said it's in a very... Um, jokey type of like you know a funny way but it was it was important for me to for him to ha actually have a conversation because people don't necessarily think about that when you when you see something that's really big and successful and it's quite intimidating it's sometimes you need somebody else to tell you you can learn from that and you can actually achieve that hmm. rather well, than allowing yourself to get traveled away to say oh this and thing is hate most times they travel is, into that unconsciously they don't even see and, what and, and doing. coming from yeah. speaking about ghana as well is very rampant in ghana you think One, it's the a moment ghana thing? no 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 i'm even talking thing about thing no too. ghana in particular the moment you are young and you are rich they say nasakawa that's what they call it What's sakawa? sakawa is like um Money blood ritual, money. yeah, mm. blood money. I, I, don't, I don't think it's Ghana. I think it's a. I don't forget it, our it's, uh, like, like, See, it is more <laughs> rampant in in communities that making it making it is harder. So if it, abroad now, people, are, everyone is successful to a large extent. Cleaners can go for holiday with their families. Mm. It is harder to hear things like rituals the basic or things whatever. are really yeah. basic. But yeah, the basic things where, are mm, taking out now of find someone who Because Nigerians work hard. They mm, get true. up every day, work hard, and some people are still poor. So it's very easy to think that what you're, all you're doing is also working hard. Mm -hmm. How, are you, How are you getting so in? much money? And I'm still mm. like in poverty or whatever. And then so. especially people don't believe that it only takes a second. It takes a day for things to change for you oh God, let so, that day come. you know people don't don't realize that man life is all about chances and what mm. can happen hmm. to you in the next five minutes in the next 10 minutes you understand people or who go, you meet or will you yeah who picks your call is it like he that or what's about this guy like, he has <laughs> yeah <laughs> that love connect us with our helper and all that so you sometimes people don't realize that yes i may be the guy you saw a week ago that did not have a thing mm. and then you see me by next week probably because i got a new this is, i didn't even buy the i maybe i i, I got promoted mm. i got a new it i got a, a, a yeah. car it came with a house i moved to a new apartment i'm driving oh, a new what, car what, and the next thing you're like ah, ah. it's b or a new b it's possible yeah and car. then maybe you're like okay so Maybe this guy is doing something else. So this guy started doing Yahoo just because I was promoted at work. So you never know. So sometimes I think we should be coming down like this. Yeah, I think people need to stop stop comparing the hustle. I think yeah. that's where it comes from, where you feel like, mm. oh, I, I wake up every morning and I work hard and I leave the house 5 a.m. I get back to what exactly mm. is the person doing when the person mm. is at home. Mm. Forgetting that when it comes to different um, 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 sources of income, mm. the margin of what you can make in a day cannot be compared. So mm. there are people who probably make their millions once a year mm. and you that's a million is what you're going to make going to work from january to mm. december but they've made theirs once and if they don't manage it well when they start getting the fruit of not managing it you probably don't know that's I, another I mean, thing you don't know yeah, how long people so have been it, saving yeah. for the things they have you, you know, know how you see someone buy a car and you well. don't even know how long the person has been keeping yeah. money somewhere to yeah. finally get it and then yeah. you're suddenly hitting mm. you know so there are different scenarios around it and i just wish that we can have more of this conversation like mm. you said agree, and agree. consciously call 
call ourselves back to say, you know what, I shouldn't be hating on this person. I should be happy for this person. Thank you. And if you can go yo, yo. even a step further, yeah. if you're close to this person, maybe get close to them to I find out how the they make their money yeah. and if they can help Drug you in me, any way, shape, or form. Really. But you I mean, know, I have you know friends people, that I, they won't I call tell up you and I'm like, no, but they can still give you if you keep if you keep at it, not like you're being you're pestering or anything. If you keep at it and have like a good relationship, at some point they will see somewhere to fix you. Aside that, it's not even about asking them what they do all the time. The moment you have an idea of what this person do, bring something to the table, bring mm -hmm. an offer they can refuse, Definitely. they will link yeah. you up. Yeah. Okay, I'm I think we've, we've done a lot of okay. advice edition on this episode. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys, and thank you for watching. And please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057019 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch um, Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Thank you. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. Thank you.